Good morning to everyone present here. Uh, welcome to our webinar on uh, using Chatter Quick Actions to replace URL hacks in Lightning Experience. I'm Mukta Ashok Kumar, and I'll be a moderator for today's webinar. Now, as, as we begin, I want you to take you through a few indicators so that we can interact better during the webinar. Um, you're looking at the attendee interface of GoToWebinar. As you can see, uh, there is also a viewer window on the left. This window will show you everything that we will be sharing from our screen. Uh, you also have access to a control panel, which is located on the right hand side of your screen from where you can type in queries and share your comments. We'll be reviewing your questions as they come in and we'll take them up towards the end during the question and the answer session. Also, this webinar is being recorded and uh, everyone will receive an email with a link to view a recording of today's event. So to begin with, uh, I would like to introduce you to our company, Suyati Technologies. Suyati provides marketing, technology, and integration services uh, for companies that wish to combine the best of breed solutions and create a unified approach to customer acquisition. Uh, we enable system integration between various CMS and CRM platforms and a slew of e-commerce marketing automation, social media listening, email and social marketing, and customer service systems. Now, Sriyati's uh, custom technology solutions have been deployed in companies in the US, Western Europe, and Australia, and we have helped many enterprises leverage the web cloud mobile technologies to acquire customers through integrated digital marketing. We have strategic partnerships with various technological giants such as Salesforce CRM, Cyfinity CMS, MongoDB, etc. We are also a Microsoft certified gold partner. And when it comes to Salesforce, we are an app exchange partner and we offer topmost solutions in customization, development, migration, and integration. A team of 30 plus developers include Defo Not One certified developers. And we have created around 1 million LOC delivering out of box solutions which, which usually end up as industry benchmarks. Now, next, I would like to introduce you to our, our featured speaker, Nina, Ninu Matthew. Uh, Ninu is currently working as a software engineer at Swethi Technologies. She's a Salesforce uh, certified developer with uh, tremendous experience in configuration and customization of Salesforce suite of products. Uh, her other areas of expertise include Apex programming, Visual Force, and so on. Uh, now you can use these. This is our social media tag. Uh, you can use the hashtags and handles to post questions. You can follow us or even tag us. Uh, now that is all from my end. Uh, now Nino will take you through the agenda of the day. So I'd like to pass it over to Nino. Over to Nino. Thank you, Mukta. Thank you for the kind introduction. So we'll start off with the agenda for the day. I'll be explaining about the URL hacks or the JavaScript-based custom buttons. We'll also be seeing lightning experience wherein we have said goodbye to the hacks. We'll also explain about the chatter quick actions and also what a quick actions mainly is. Finally, we'll end up with some use cases around quick actions. So, what is a URL hacking? It's basically a process of pre-populating data in a new record with data from a record you're currently working off using a custom button to launch this new record. Simply saying, it's like pre-populating certain fields when user visits a page. So currently, many use the unsupported URL hacking to do many things. Mainly, URL hacking gives you the ability to create shortcuts for everyday tasks your company has. They are great ones once you get hang of them, but they're actually unsupported and no UI exists to easily create what you want. Also, many that do URL hacking as kind of, you know, not developers or have access to Apex developers. So let's move away from the unsupported workarounds. So, 
the, with the advent of lightning experience the custom buttons like those which update records using this javascript which is used to trigger the workflow sub process creating records using url hacks etc will cease to work going forward this will not be supported in lightning experience so now another way to get around this limitations even though not fully but to an extent as to bring in chatter queue actions the biggest advantage is like you know it don't really need a code or clunky url hacks but could set it up and running with a couple of clicks so what are basically queue actions actions add functionality to salesforce you can also choose from the standard actions such as create and update actions or create actions based on your company's needs so create actions add them to the chatter publishers on the home page on the chatter tab in the chatter groups and on the record detail pages the actions are in salesforce classic the action appears in chatter publisher whereas in lightning experience you can see that the action appears in different areas of user interface depending on the action type in salesforce one as you can see the action appears in the action bar its associated action menu and as list item actions basically the action enables users to do more in salesforce and in salesforce one for example if you create a update records and log calls directly in chatter feed or from users mobile devices as mentioned above the chatter publishing actions allow you to perform simple tasks such as creating child records from directly within the records chatter feed so this means that if your organization has specified a publisher action for the accounts object such as create opportunity you will be able to create a brand new opportunity record directly with the chatter mobile application and the fact that you have created it will get posted to the chatter feed for the parent account object and to anyone else who use the chatter feed or who's following that particular record so basically the chatter queue actions is a replacement of url hacking fill be dealing with the use cases around chatter queue actions using the salesforce classic and the lightning experience so we'll start off with the demo i'm logging to my salesforce account okay here we go one of the frequently encountered use cases with salesforce is where you want to you want certain fields to be prepopulated when a particular user visits a page so let's start by getting a basic understanding of how salesforce urls works so i'm going to take you to the accounts So this is a particular account when you have many contacts associated with it. So if you click on the new contact, you can see it's navigating to a particular URL. And if you closely observe the URL, you know there are certain elements within this URL. So starting off with the elements, the 003, it's basically the three-letter prefix signifying that we are looking into the contact object. and the e is simply but saying that we are going to the edit page now the return url it's basically the url to return to if the cancel button is clicked and on the new contact page on the new account page that is this is how salesforce knows where to go whenever you click the cancel button on any page now if you look into this particular element it's a html encoded string and this is the id of the particular account i was looking at so when i hit cancel on the contact page 
this sales force navigates me back to this account so this particular account so this is it and now let me pass one more element to it so notice the change that had happened in this particular record now when i just pass this particular cone 5 as test it is pre populated with the in the title field so the last query string parameter did the trick actually it asked the sales force to put the value test in the title field so how did i know that the con5 is the parameter to be passed for the title actually this con5 is the id of the title text box now if you want to check it out you can just right click on the text box and then choose the inspect element now if you just see here you can see that this particular id is what i have mentioned here so basically this is what a url hacking is now we'll circle back to the account page and close of this So we have Chattercube actions to the rescue. So what basically a Chattercube action is? So for that, if you just look into the account object, wherein you have many account records over here, you have the feeds here. Now, I'm going to create a new action in the account. So let me take you to the account where you have the button links and actions over here. Okay, so this is where you are going to create your new action. So I'll start with creating a new action. So as for now, we'll be creating a particular record where our target object will be the contact, which means if I'm creating a, like a, in the feed, you're just going to create a particular contact on the account page. Okay, so we'll start off with the action type as create a record and the target object. I'll give it as contact. For the label, I'm going to just give a name as create contact. Yes, it's over here. Okay. So I'll give a brief description for this. And here we go. So we have created the action. Now we have add it to the account page layout for the users to view that particular action. So for this, we have to navigate to the Quick actions wherein you can see the create contact action that I've created now. So you can just go and drag and drop it to the quick actions in the salesforce classic publisher so you can see there are quick actions in salesforce classic publisher and uh, salesforce one and lightning experience actions so you can just put it on both this particular sections so here in the quick actions in salesforce classic publisher you have already given the create contact now for the Salesforce one and lightning experience action, we'll just give it from the Salesforce one actions. The same action that we have created 
we'll just put it here and finally you can save this okay now i'll just go to an account record here if you see this is the action that we have created now when you click create contact you can see a particular pop up has generated here okay now as in url hacking you have seen that you are just passing many uh, parameters to this particular url which means if you want a last name to be passed an email to be passed you'll just pass on to this particular url now this is not possible here so we'll just do it with the button slings and action itself so you can see something called as predefined field values wherein you can set all the field values from here itself so i'll just create a predefined value so for now i'll just uh, take the phone field to be filled with the accounts phone field okay so here if you see there is your formula come in so you can give it as the accounts phone so i'll just save it and i'm going to refresh this page okay so again if you just click on this particular action you can see that this particular phone is prefilled with its value with the account value okay so this is basically a replacement some other replacement of url hacking now what is the status in the lightning experience now i switch on to the lightning experience for this you have to enable your lightning experience so it's just here matter of just enabling it it's here you can just enable your lightning experience over here okay so we have switched to our lightning experience as you can see this is the account so i'll take this particular record for now so if you look at this particular action this is the action that we have created before that's a create contact so when i click it actually the pop ups just displays the prefilled value the phone and the account name and if you closely observe the urls it's nothing to be changed there it's it's nothing is changing there so there is no url this means there will be no url hacks so no more url hack to take a user to an edit or a create screen for a record and pre-populate data and we won't have buttons to open a visual force page or to send data to another system so this what basically the url hacking and the you know chatterquick actions is all about so the url is not changing which means you know the url is not there hacking is not there so the custom buttons that point to a url or calling a javascript is not being supported in lightning experience and also the things have begun to change and the vision is suddenly becoming much clearer so this chatter actions allow you to add custom actions from directly within the feed whether it be a standard action like creating a task associated with an opportunity or an account or a more sophisticated custom action such as a vacation request or sending an email which can be created directly from within a user's feed 
So I think that's all from the speakers end. Uh, we would like to hear questions from you. So we'll please uh, be ready with your question. Type in your question using the question feature on the GoToWebinar. We have our first question. Okay, the first question that we have got is we use URL hacking to pass criteria variables to reports and is this possible with action? Okay, uh, so basically I hope it's not possible. So uh, I have not uh, played much around on that. So I'll get back to you. Yeah, so uh, once we you know, we'll just take a look into it and we'll uh, get back with a better uh, explanation to why this is not possible. Uh, so do we have another question for the day? Okay, uh, we have got on the second question. Uh, we use URL hack to have an account specific report. Is there a way to solve that? Uh, Nino? Uh, not as of now. So, uh, yeah, not as of now. Okay, we have another question from Crawford. Uh, creating record actions can only create records that have relationship with the object you're attaching the action. Is there any way around this? So, uh, Nino actually, there's a connect connectivity issue with uh, our speaker, but uh, she has uh, informed that there is no uh, such action available as of now. Uh, but uh, uh, we would be sending out these questions, the uh, detailed answers to these. We'll mail it out to them. We mail it out to you guys. Uh, so I think that's all for the day. Uh, this is, uh, please look up for a follow up mail that will reach your inbox and will alert you on the on demand status of the webinar. And you can review any material you missed or you can simply go over again. Um, these are some of the few references from the speaker. Uh, finally, a small request. So there is also a survey that is uh, that will come along with the webinar. So please do uh, attend the survey and give us, you know, spend a few more moments longer and complete our uh, four question exit survey. Any more questions or queries will be taken offline. You can reach us at our social media or you can simply drop us a mail at uh, webinar at swethi.com. So that brings us to the end of our webinar. On behalf of Swethi and our team at, uh, uh, at Swethi Technologies, uh, I'm thanking you for joining us and taking time to attend our webinar. Uh, have a great day. Thank you, guys.